Jay Leno has at least 181 cars and 160 motorcycles. He is a major collector. Sadly, he received major burns when a fuel line erupted while working in his garage a few months ago. It was so serious it made him want to keep his most recent mishap out of the public eye. But he's now finally revealed it. Keep watching to learn how Jay Leno's health gets worse after his latest accident. His Latest Motorcycle Accident Jay Leno sustained a major injury on January 17, 2023. He was clotheslined and knocked off his bike. As he revealed in an interview, he sustained a broken collarbone, several broken ribs, and two cracked kneecaps. He was working on a vintage 1940 Indian motorcycle and giving it a road test. He adjusted the carburetor until he noticed the smell of leaking gas. He was trying to get it back to his garage to fix it, and he cut through a parking lot. All of a sudden, he hit a wire that wasn't marked with a flag. He flew off the bike, but it kept going. Jay didn't want to make the incident public at first. His accident in November had already gotten enough media coverage. He felt guilty even about returning to the same hospital so soon, joking it was lucky they didn't have to give him a whole new face again. It wasn't his first accident, but it also wasn't his first time dealing with controversy. He tweeted about the incident saying, quote, I was riding my motorcycle up in Lake Tahoe, and I came around the corner and bam, I crashed into Jeremy Renner's snowplow. Many Twitter users thought it was in poor taste. It tied his accident that happened by chance to a man who risked his life to stop a snowplow from hitting his nephew. Others thought it was fine and that Jeremy himself would likely see the humor in it. The tweet was one of the first jokes he made about the motorcycle accident after it happened. It was also one of the many times he made fun of a serious accident that he suffered. His Burns Jay is as much of a fan of restoring cars as he is working on bikes. He even gets his friends involved, and one saved him from a fiery disaster. On November 12, 2022, Jay was working on a 1907 White Motor Company steam-powered car in his 140,000-square-foot garage with his friend Dave Kilaki. He noticed the fuel line was clogged. He went under the car to fix it, and when he tried to blow air through it, it blew up and left him with a face full of gas. Before he knew it, the pilot light jumped and his face caught on fire. Dave pulled him out from under the car within a few seconds and jumped on him to smother the flames. Jay doesn't consider himself a panicky person, but he knows his friend saved his life. He knows that breathing in the smoke from the fire could have scorched his lungs and waiting any longer could have cost him an eye. Jay was taken by ambulance to the hospital and went to Grossman Burn Center in Los Angeles. He had serious burns on his hands and chest and third-degree burns on his face. They gave him a new oxygen therapy that accelerates burn wound healing known as hyperbaric treatment. He also had to undergo two skin grafting surgeries. It took nine days for him to fully heal. Mavis, his wife of 42 years, was there with him the entire time. He told People Magazine he felt like his face was on fire or the most intense sunburn you've ever had. He also realizes it could have been much worse, especially when working with a gas car. Despite the risk, he vows he'll continue to do what he's always done, just more carefully. He left the burn center six days after that and performed stand-up at the Comedy and Magic Club in Hermosa Beach, California. His traditional ability to make fun of himself was on display during his act. He said, quote, I never thought of myself as a roast comic. We have two shows tonight, regular and extra crispy. The fans appreciated his lighthearted reaction to the accident. He has made a few enemies, but he also has plenty of friends to cheer him on and support him. Tim Allen's Support Many of Jay's friends reached out after his burn accident. John Travolta sent him an Italian basket, Tom Selleck sent flowers, and Russell Crowe called him from Australia. And one of his closest friends called him right away. They bonded working on the sitcom Last Man Standing Together. Jay appeared in multiple seasons as mechanic Joe Leonard and had a major storyline in the finale. Tim Allen appeared on his show Jay Leno's Garage nine times, most recently to promote the Disney Plus show The Santa Clauses. Tim called Jay on the day of the incident to make sure he was okay. He then visited him within a few days and brought him a few car magazines to help him pass the time. He responded to an interview with TMZ on the way out. Tim said his friend was looking and doing better. It was also an opportunity for him to engage in their favorite way of bonding, making fun of each other. Tim compared Jay to the villain from the superhero film Deadpool who felt no pain, saying his face, quote, didn't look that great to begin with, and he quipped that the surgeons were going for the George Clooney look. His High Cholesterol after Jay's friend, legendary comedian Rodney Dangerfield, died of a small stroke on October 5, 2004, after having heart surgery, 
Jay started thinking seriously about his health. He also had high cholesterol and a blockage in his own heart. He made a video with an organization called Cholesterol 911 to raise awareness about the issue. Many of the symptoms go unrecognized. The first notable sign is typically a heart attack or stroke. Having high cholesterol also increases the risk of heart attacks or strokes. Having one increases the risk of having another, and strokes alone kill 140,000 Americans every year. Jay manages his condition with medication and a portable EKG device to measure his heartbeats. He also avoids alcohol and cigarettes and tries to eat healthy and exercise. He admits he doesn't live a perfectly healthy lifestyle and indulges from time to time. There's also no perfect cure for high cholesterol. He had a friend who was 69, ran 3 miles a day, ate well, and had a stroke one day. Jay has also worked to raise awareness on other health issues like senior citizens' and children's health, breast cancer, and neuropathy. The Medical Explanation for His Jutting Jaw Jay Leno's chin is one of the most recognizable parts of his image and act. His 1996 autobiography is even titled Leading With My Chin. There is a medical reason for that distinctive feature. It's called the Habsburg jaw or mandibular prognatism. It came from generations of inbreeding in the Russian royal family who ruled most of Europe at the time. The genetic condition causes the lower mandible or jaw to outgrow the upper jaw. It's also known as an underbite. It can cause problems with talking or chewing and be corrected with surgery. But Jay seems to have made it work for him. His fans and friends wouldn't recognize him if he ever got it fixed. Jay's future Jay had to stop for a bit after his motorcycle accident. His stand-up schedule was briefly suspended while he underwent surgery, but he was back out entertaining fans a few weeks later. He has plans to debut at the Encore Theater at Wynn Las Vegas on March 31st. He played in the Aces of Comedy series at the Mirage Theater for 15 years, but always loved the Encore. He also loves the level of professionalism that Vegas thrives on. He's even made his act a bit more professional. He's tried to remove any political references that would end up offending both parties. It's unknown whether this will keep his fans satisfied or prevent any more controversies. Jay has been a major force on the stand-up scene for decades, but he's also almost unavoidable on TV. One of his more recent shows is called Jay Leno's Garage, which allows him to show off rare vehicles and drive them with famous faces. His guest stars have included President Joe Biden, Kelly Clarkson, Elon Musk, Jamie Lee Curtis, and more. It began as a web series but ran on CNBC for 15 years. The channel announced its cancellation soon after he revealed his motorcycle injuries and it aired its seventh and final season. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Jay Leno? Let us know in the comments section below.